Right, so I here's an example of when I used Scapel to help me think through a problem that was frustrating me that I don't think I could have solved as well any other way at the given my current knowledge. Right, which is that I was very frustrated with my blog because there were hundreds of posts in it and there was no clear strategy, no clear system, and it was just overwhelming and confusing. So what I started doing was I listed out all of my posts. I don't think I listed all my posts, but I, I started listing posts one by one. And the cool thing about Scapel is that you can use links in the text, like as you saw I did earlier with my Beyonce and Prince quotes and stuff, where I linked to the sources for my own reference. So I can link to these blog posts in the Scapel page, Scapel doc, and then I can click on these links to jump to the page, which is great for my own personal navigation. Right, and so what I do is I, I first I just put down some posts here and there and I recognize that oh you know there's a post about my friends in San Francisco, there's a post about my trip, there's a post about introductions, there's a post about making friends. And so what I do is I connect related posts. Right? I don't yet know what these connections are gonna do. I just know that I want to connect related things together. And you know, I, I, I sing along while I keep doing it. I add more posts. And I noticed that, oh, okay, like for my post about making friends, I have a post about relationships, I have a post about making introductions, I can connect those things together. I noticed that I have multiple posts about cultural, you know, cultural cosplay, different mental models, you know, and like some racism stuff. Like it's just, um, it was able, I was able to see that, okay, I have like four or five different posts about culture, right? And I kept at it. And I discovered that, you know, there are, this turns out that practically all of my posts have at least one other post that's related to it in some way. So here's like one network of posts, which is about um, self-repair, right? Or about, you know, my, my uh, the way I talk to myself, the way, what, I, what problems I deal with, how I deal with them, my sleep, my stress, you know, the way I think about things, that's one set of things. Another thing is, yeah, I got this whole category about dealing with assholes or dealing with difficult people. And there are different posts that are all, all essentially about, diff about different parts of the same thing, right? And the thing is, I didn't have a tag for assholes. I didn't have a tag for uh, <laughs> narcissist PR, let's say. But I can just connect these things together which is i feel it's more intuitive than trying to come up with the category or trying to come up with the tag before you know what they are so i keep doing this this is the cultural thing again uh it's a bunch of stuff about men and male issues and yeah while i was progressing i felt like my general anxiety and frustration at the beginning was decreasing because i started to understand the shape of my blog better i started to see what was where Right, let me see if this is this might be a bit too small to see, but make friends, assholes, women stuff, gender stuff, men stuff, gender stuff, um, identity. There's this whole there's like four different posts about identity that I didn't realize. You know, one is hypothesis artists perceive differently than regular folks. I didn't. I would have you know if I had to tag that post, I would tag it artist, right, or art or perception. But because I have these three posts, I have this like this molecule of posts here, I realized that, oh, okay, I should just build on that. And so now I have this whole thing going on about identity, right? And, and this is, as it keeps going, I'm making real progress. I'm starting to see the shape of the blog and I start to add color to, for the anchor posts, for posts that I think everything else hangs off of. So now what was previously like, you know, a chaos sphere of, dozens and dozens of posts and this is this is still not even i think half of the posts on my blog but now i have i have a structure that has emerged from the posts themselves about what my interests are in relation to each other right so there's the assholes thing there's the cultural thing the self-repair thing i noticed that there's a bunch of stuff about supernormal stimuli and i mean it's not that all of these things are necessarily about supernormal stimuli but you know there's something about information diets uh, information superhighway, boredom, procrastination, and it's just all these things about attention, I guess. And so, whatever it is, there's a molecule here that that is like a neighborhood, right? And I get to decide how that neighborhood works. 
And yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff about writing and creativity, more stuff about writing, taste, storytelling. And so each time I add a blog post to this map, right? I get to move everything around. I get to disconnect things and reconnect things elsewhere. If a thing fits in two separate categories, I can actually just connect it to both. And then when I start to move stuff around and I feel like it's getting a bit too chaotic, I can eliminate connections. And yeah, so that I ended up changing my entire blog post categories systems. You know, so look at some of my earlier categories, right? Internet life, meta, you know, like it was just, it, it got a lot better when I could rename the categorization based on these molecules that feel much more natural and organic. And so, yeah, that's how uh, Scapel helped me get better at thinking about my blog and let's see if there's anything else worth kind of looking at uh, ooh, I may have got myself into a mess here how far back do I have to go for future reference here we go um, I mean I think you get the picture right so sometimes I even just use it like almost like a PowerPoint so I start with one bubble and then I add more bubbles to like I said, this is like a process slash flow diagram, right? And um, yeah, I expand more into it. Let me scroll down to the next part. Um, right, so check this out. So this is like, it's like a tweet with three screenshots from Scapel that's kind of like a presentation and it's about marketing. And so, you know, if you want to earn more money, you can... <laughs> right, that's fundamentally what you want to do, right? In a in a marketing role or in a sales role, or whatever. And there's two ways to make more money: you get more customers, or you get more money per customer. And then I can expand that further. You can get more visitors, or you can con have a better conversion rate of your visitors. You can get more dollars per transaction, or you can try and get more transactions. There's like multiple ways you can make more money. And then I I expand that out further. And right, so the cool thing is this map can get really big. And Scapel lets you zoom out to really, you know, you can zoom out r until it's, re it's, it's really, really small, right? You can you can make huge Scapel maps if you want, but, um, you know, you can lose yourself in how big a map you make if you want to. But the point is that, you know, it allows me to do this kind of structured mind mappy kind of thinking. And it allows me to focus. So it, when I look at this, you know, this I made this map when I was trying to explain marketing to somebody. And I I can just save the map and forget about it. And now that I come back, I have a, so I have like a marketing blog that I haven't touched in a while. But if I want to figure out what content should go on that marketing blog, I can look at the map and I can see what, you know, what's missing. I can see, like, so I should... I should aim to have a blog post about potentially each one of these things, right? How to get more visitors, there's A, B, C, D. How to convert more visitors, there's this, there's that. And so it's, it provides a certain structure to my thinking, but it's very flexible. I can move stuff around. And I, I just find that the experience, sometimes even just doing this and just clicking, right? Let me zoom out a bit. Just clicking stuff and moving stuff around. Oops, moving stuff around. I find, like, it helps me think. I, 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 don't, I don't know if that makes sense i don't know if it's even kind of a uh, rational let me look at my mu oh let's go let's go to my blog let's go this is my music map but let's go to my blog right okay so i know that i have some new posts on my blog that i have not kind of uh updated in this map let me delete this so let's go to my blog in real time and let's look at what the posts are, right? So the prestige trap. So let me let, let me just uh, copy the link. Uh, yeah, fine. Pre I, I can the prestige trap. That works. I don't know why the color just changed, but so now I have the prestige trap. Where does the prestige trap go? It's it could go in self repair. It could go in super normal stimuli. Uh, or I could just leave it alone, you know, I could just leave it alone hanging by itself. Um, I do think it's related to, you know, miseducation. So I can decide what I want to link it to and I can change it later on. Let's look for more posts, right? Prestige trap is one. Learned catastrophizing, that's definitely in self-repair, right? 
uh, copy I paste it so that definitely goes there all right so I can move stuff around this node is clunky this prestige trap thing yeah so the the all all the things that you have they, they stick so you can move stuff in like weird directions and it gets crazy uh, and you can you know I, I kind of optimize this for trying to squeeze in everything into as as uh, little space as possible so I could screenshot it for Twitter but you can move stuff around look at this you can just kind of space things out right you don't need to make everything kind of clumpy and and stuck together you can whoop. my computer is lagging because of my because I'm recording OBS and I'm on Chrome at the same time and my Mac but like it's one of the things I love about Scapple when I'm using it without recording stuff at the same time is that it's very fast and responsive which it isn't right now but you know it's uh there we go yeah so you can play around with it you can move stuff around you can add colors you can you know you can make things bigger if you want um, you can do whatever you like and I love to play around with it as a way of thinking I hope that was useful to you um, if you like it come say hi to me on Twitter and uh, I hope you guys found that useful cheers <laughs>